Hello, I think this is a, a uh, request video from Chance of a Thoughtful Wants to Know. Kyle, can a hardcore van dweller make soft edible grain type foods without heat or a stove? Like a cold mush, for example, oatmeal, rice, and beans get soft from soaking overnight in water. Hot heat speeds up the process, but is it necessary? A person could have a simple life doing this, and it would be a fun experiment for cheap living. There is no food cheaper than bulk grains or beans. If a person wasn't picky, could you get very cheap calories like this by merely soaking them and adding salt for flavor? Thanks. Interesting question. Um, yeah, uh, I, I imagine you could soak oatmeal and then eat it the next day. Uh, I haven't tried it. Maybe I should try it tonight and see how it works tomorrow. I know they sell one minute oatmeal. I bet you, bet you, bet you, one minute oatmeal would do it just by soaking. Um, it's a weird question though because it's not necessary. Uh, it's cheap, cheap, cheap to cook oatmeal. Um, you can, I mean, you know, you can get a canister of gas, you know, from REI from one of those jet boil for like or get the canister anywhere for like five bucks and it'll last you like three weeks or more, you know, cooking twice a day. So it's not a biggie. Um, but yeah, you could, man. I mean, if you were hardcore, you could with oatmeal. Um, I don't know about nothing, nothing other than oatmeal that I can think of would be worth it though. Rice wouldn't be worth it. I mean, if you have to soak something for more than a couple of hours, you don't want to be doing that in a car, dude, because cars don't have space. And, um, You'll just get, you'll spill it, you'll drop something in it, you'll step in it. Wouldn't work. <laughs> um, yeah, but be careful if you eat oatmeal that's not fully cooked, man. Because I ate oatmeal packages once, and for some stupid-ass reason, I ate a bunch of oatmeal. Oh, it was one of those one-minute oatmeals, the flavored ones, and I just ate a bunch of them. I was like 19 in college, and they expanded in my stomach, and I was in agonizing pain, dude. Like, I almost died. Like, I thought so what I thought. I was like, my stomach's going to burst. It sucked, dude. I like bad news. I hope it doesn't shorten my life. Yeah, so don't be eating oatmeal that's not completely expanded. Don't let stuff expand in your stomach. Um, but, uh, um, yeah, so, um, um, and I don't know if I would add salt to a grain for flavor. I guess you could to um, rice and stuff, but oatmeal, I think you add sugar to oatmeal. Um, yeah, one really cool thing about living in a van really, really, really cheap is, figure, is figuring it out how to do it cheap and then getting good at it. Because, and it's not really like a skill, it's more like a, well, I guess it's a skill, but it's a habit that you have to, it's kind of like strength of mind, you know, a habit if you stick to it. If you eat nothing, and you can eat really well, you know, if you get just cans. I went down to Walmart and got 68 cent cans of mixed vegetables the other day, and then they have 98 cent cans of fruit. If you get like a bunch of those cans and just eat that, and then have oatmeal, you know, for breakfast, and then can uh, ooh, veggies for dinner, you're going to be super healthy, and, you know, you're going to spend like barely anything. You know, you don't have to work. You could get an odd job or now and again to save up some pennies and and then um, go and do whatever you want and not have to work, man. Money is not a, doesn't have to be an option for anybody. And besides, in America, you can get free food anyways. There's They've got these, like, food, food donation places for the, for the lazy people who don't want to work all over in America. But anyways, that's, like, I guess, another video. Um... Interesting question, chance of the thoughtful. Okay, peace out.